All right, today I'm going to go through the steps of seasoning a bagpipe bag. To somebody who's never done it before, it can be quite daunting. And after having done it a number of times, you get better at it and you just learn um, tricks along the way to make it a little bit more efficient, maybe less time. But uh, overall, it does take a little bit of time to season the bag. It's just part of playing the instrument. So for me anyway, I mean, maybe a couple of times a year, it just requires a little bit of a touch-up um, to make the bag a little bit more secure. So what you're going to need is obviously your seasoning, lots of different seasonings on the market. Uh, you're going to want corks, four corks to cover up the, uh, to plug into the channel stock and the three drones. Um, you're going to want a knife to stir the seasoning after you heat it up. And depending on how much seasoning you have left in your container, that's going to tell you how long you need to warm it up for. So, I mean, there's a little bit of a bio on the back on um, what to do exactly, but over time you kind of just know what you need to do. So here I have about 30% left of seasoning in my container. It's not a lot, but more than enough for what I need to do here. So I know that I'm probably gonna warm it up in the microwave for about 25 seconds, and then I'm gonna stir, and then warm it up for maybe another another 15. I mean, that, that might be more than enough for what I need to do. Um, so seasoning in your knife, um, lots of paper towels. You're gonna need lots of paper towels working your way through um, start to finish. And then something else that you're going to want is something that's long um, and sturdy that is uh, in circumference um, that can fit into your stock. And this is something I just kind of stumbled upon a couple of years ago only because after you season the bag, the inside of your bag is going to be very gooey. Same thing with the inside of the stocks. So after you're tossing the liquid around, you know, after that comes the tedious part where you got to fish out all of that. So what I found a couple of years ago, I'll briefly demonstrate here. So this is a, a, a paintbrush, um, very skinny. What also works is a chopstick. If you have one chopstick, that can also work. So basically what you're going to do to get the seasoning out, I'm jumping ahead here, but what you're going to do is take the paper towel and you're just going to roll it along the chopstick or your paintbrush. You know, I usually like to hold the end. So now you can insert it a pretty good bit without the paper towel losing its shape. So then that way I can go side to side um, and get a lot of the seasoning out. Because if, if I didn't have uh, something to roll it with, I'm just kind of using my fingers and it's very easy to uh, break apart. So having this is very, very handy and, it, and it, it's, a, um, it's a little bit of a lifesaver to be honest with you. Um, so this is a great find that I stumbled upon a while back. So I also have a, a, a towel here. Normally after I get the seasoning in, I might take my bag to my couch with the stocks in or on the floor and really roll it back and forth, um, really kind of get into it with wanting to massage the whole bag with the seasoning in there. But uh, as I'm on the camera here, um, I just put this towel down because this is a, a hard surface. So I just wanted to kind of demonstrate that part of it with you. Um, so yeah, so the first step is I'm just gonna cork up uh, the outside tenors in the base, all right? You know, really, really push to make sure they're, they're, they're firm in there. I'm sure every piper has a story of a cork blown out and seasoning kind of going every which direction. Um, so right now, I'm just going to cork up the, the, the channer. I will be pouring the seasoning into the channer stock. Um, I've experimented a couple of different ways. I've sent it through one of the, one of the stocks before, but um, I quite like sending it through the channer and it kind of drips down the whole bag. Um, you could probably ask a number of pipers and they might have a different view, but um, 
I'm just using the channel. You know, we'll make that a long story short. So um, I'm gonna. I actually already have a paper towel over there because after I stir, I want the knife to go in a paper towel because I don't want to get the counter too messed up there. So real quick, um, I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna do about 20 seconds in the microwave with the seasoning. And then you can kind of hear the microwave going. So sometimes uh, the, the canister will be a little bit hot, but you're only gonna hold it for a couple of seconds um, once the time comes to pour it in. So here's my knife, so I'm just gonna kind of stir it a little bit and take a quick look. So it's not overly warm, but I know when I do it, just kind of basic stirring, right? Just kind of getting it moving. That's another 15 seconds. If you had a full can, you're probably going to want to do at least 45 seconds, 50 seconds to really break up. Uh, it comes pretty solid. But when there's a little bit left, you, you don't want to do too much. It's almost like shaving a bagpipe reed. You can always shave a little bit more. Um, you can always heat it up a little bit more, but you can, I mean, you know, I, I've done it myself. I, I've heated it up for too long and there's seasoning all over the microwave. Um, so this feels a little bit warm to me. So this is, this is actually pretty good. Let me stir it real quick. It feels pretty warm. Like I probably shouldn't do any more. I kind of want to, but I think I'm just going to roll with that. I think I want to roll with that. I might do another five minutes because I'm going to talk about something here real quick. So what I like to do is blow up the bag. So I like to get that going and I like to have like a, a good reach underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like this and I want these stocks to be facing upward when I pour the seasoning in. Because if the stocks are facing down, it's very easy for the seasoning to just drop into the stocks and that's where it stays. So it's just like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit of a safety measure just to ensure most of it goes to where it wants to go. But after that, after I start whooshing it around, it's kind of all bets are off at that point. So I'm just gonna do that maybe another little six seconds here. actually did it for five seconds. All right, so now we can really, a uh, little swoosh, now we can really get into it here. Don't double check all the corks. There it goes, it's going out. I kind of, some people like to use a funnel. I kind of just eyeball it now. So I'm just eyeballing it. This is the quick and quick action point. I had about 30% left and I put about half in. Just a touch up here, just a touch up. All right, close it up. So now what I'm gonna do is kink the channer stock in. Because now I really want to go all the way around. Just back and forth, up and down and around. You're just really getting it up, uh, as far around as you can. I'm kicking the channer stock just to um, avoid a lot of the seasoning getting to that direction. Again, it's going to go a little bit of everywhere anyway. It's just kind of something that I do. You could probably watch 10 bagpipers do this and they're all going to do it a little bit differently. <clears throat> I usually like to concentrate some of the seasoning to the hard to get areas like the back corner and just above the back corner. Um, cause those areas, uh, don't get a lot of action there. Obviously with your arm on the bag quite a bit, those areas get a workout and you'll see that once I start rubbing it in a little bit. All right. Do another little check here. So yeah, it's looking pretty good there. Getting all hard to reach areas up and down. So. <clears throat> This, this next area here is, I got some, some dishes in here. I should probably uh, get out of the road. Should have had that done beforehand. 
So this next bit, I don't know if I can get it on camera, but I will attempt to get what season is in here in, in, in so right now there's season in here. If you do a, if you do a lot, um, you can get a lot coming out of the channer stock. You know, 50 50, I, I get some out of the channer stock, but what I'm going to attempt to do is shoot it out of the channer stock if there's anything left. So, this is not something you're going to be able to see, but I didn't put a lot in, so I'm not anticipating anything coming out. You probably heard that. So, ah, not too much. There's, there's, there's basically nothing there. So just a slight rinse of my hand. All right, so now, now this is where the paper towels come in handy because you can see some of the seasoning in here. A quick wipe of the inside just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So now, I'm just gonna lay it out flat. A good chunk of what needs to happen is already done. Put this back in my cupboard where I usually keep it. I like to have a paper towel out and ready for the corks. Um, usually you want to rinse the corks off because the seasoning can... I'll wait till the water stops. The se it, it, it's good to just rinse the corks off as soon as possible if you're not using it. Um, the seasoning can stay in there and it just gets a little bit nasty. So, so we're looking pretty good here. Um, I'll probably actually put that cork back in. I'm just kind of rinsing it off. So what I want to do now, while it's still kind of warm, the seasoning is still kind of warm. And, and you kind of want to get all the air out as you can because you want to be able to run the skin, rub the skin together. So most of the air is out at this point. And now this is really where you want to spend a few minutes really rubbing it in. So this is that back corner over here, back corner. And then, you know, you can kind of just, you know, you got your seam on the end. You can really just spend some time going back and forth in there. So there's a little bit skin between the stocks and the blowpipe. You can take your palms and just rub, rub back and forth in here, back and forth. You know, this little bit of skin near the channer stock is quite hard to get. Um, it, 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 this area already saw a lot of action with the uh, seasoning going in at the beginning. But you, you, you want to you rub everywhere over the bag just to kind of make sure you're getting, you're getting it seeping in. I can't, sta I can't um, state enough that during this step, it's very, very important to don't be in a rush. Just If you're at the stage where you're seasoning a bag, again, it's just going to take time. It's a little tedious, and it's just part of playing the instrument. Just really kind of kind of create your own little method of get, getting every every nook and cranny, if you will. All right. So, yeah, it, you know, at, at minimum a couple of minutes. So I didn't put in that much. So. I don't anticipate it needing all that much. I mean, after you season a bag, you know, maybe that can be a, for another day, but this is not a brand new bag. Breaking in a bag takes a while. It takes a lot of seasoning, a lot of uh, looking at. But once the bag is broken in, all you really need is a couple of touch-up seasonings throughout the year to keep it at its prime. So I, I think I'm liking where I'm at here. Um, just trying to show you what I'm doing. It's just it's just covering everywhere that you see. So we'll blow it up a little bit. So always double check the corks if you have them in there still. You know, this is another stage where they can blow out 
because now the bag is a little bit more air efficient. Um, they're more airtight, so that more air is shooting out to to the uh, all your stocks there. Um, I, I've seen a, at this stage, I've seen a lot of different things of people putting their knees on it or um, doing doing some other stuff. I don't know if all that is completely necessary. Um, so I just blew in it right there, and I and I didn't really get anything in there. So that's already kind of telling me that we're in pretty good shape here. So at this stage, because the bag's pretty full, there's a lot of seasoning in there, I know the insides are quite messy, so I'm just gonna eke out the pressure on the base stock. All right, and that's gonna be my uh, first point of order there. So when I'm pushing in there, I did I did feel a little bit, little bit of seasoning in there, so that's all right. I'm just kind of stating that for really no particular reason. But uh, so there's nothing in there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling anything. The cork is uh, pretty much clean. I will still clean that stock because you know the stock is pretty long, so there might be something down there. Middle stock. All right, a little bit wet. No problem. Do a quick rinse. I see just a little bit of seasoning on the outside. I'm just going to do a brief inside swoop there. I just don't want anything dripping out that doesn't have to. Um, I will wash this towel afterward because it will smell a little bit like the sheepskin bag here. Um, the uh, All right, so here we can see a little bit of seasoning coming out on here. Um, you can maybe see a little bit in there. I don't know if that's really viewable, but um, as expected. I would expect seasoning to be... I would expect seasoning to be in every stock, um, especially if I put a little bit more in. Again, at the beginning, I didn't put a whole lot in. I had about 30% left. I maybe put half of that in. So for starters, just a quick swoop to get the main, you know, the main seasoning out that I see there. Um, the Channer stock, um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit wet. I put my finger in there. I could feel it a little bit, a little bit more back on the Channer stock. I'm just gonna rinse that. Put it on my napkin. I do, I, I really don't want seasoning on my hands and kind of touching the outside of the bag to the best that I can. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the bag is obviously uh, um, very used on the outside, but so here comes the, uh, the magical paintbrush slash chopstick, whatever you have. This is where this really comes into play. So here's the bottom of the stock. I can feel it, and this is the the uh, the beginning part. So I know it's this long. So you can obviously see what's in there. So that's that's about how long it is. But with the Channer stock, what I like to do, I like to take the paper towel and go higher up into the bag, just past it. So I will I will swab this area out pretty good, only because there's probably a lot of seasoning um, just past the Channer stock. So the more you play after seasoning, that's going to creep down just a little bit. So if I can grab some of that right now, um, there's, less, there's less risk for the seasoning to fall into the channer stock and then onto my reed. So I like to just kind of, you know, again, uh, a couple little good bits. I'll, I'll shoot it in there pretty good. And I, I don't mind if this if all the seasoning that's here kind of comes out on the surface. I already rubbed in a good bit there. So I'm just gonna, that's that's my roll. It's nice and firm. I can measure it. I know if I go this far, it's gonna go that far in. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna shoot it in there and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the only bit that I got out was at the very tip. So that's just past the stock on the inside. That's excellent. I want to do that again. I'm probably going to do that about two more times. So another paper towel to put my used ones on. So I'm on there. End bit there. Going to roll. Again, this is another tedious part, but this method of using the paintbrush or chopstick is an absolute lifesaver here. I measure it up, 
just kind of shoot it in there. And what I also this is this is this is key here as well. What I'm also doing when I'm doing this, I am putting a little bit of pressure on the stock. So I'm, I'm going in and rubbing the inside of the stock to try and get as much of that seasoning off of the stock as I can. I'm just not blanketly going in, out and in, in and out, in and out. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to grab the sides of the stock, if that makes sense. So that's pretty dry there. I'm not seeing a whole lot there. So now I'm just going to move on to the next one. Another paper towel. I'm going to roll. So the, the base is obviously quite long. I can pretty go as, as go in as far as I want. There is something that I will do with the base, and if I remember, I'll show you to you here. I'm not anticipating anything being on there. I don't, I, I don't see a thing on there. So what I'm going to do is just use it in the, the the middle one here. The middle one is about the length of this. I'm just kind of already knowing that. Again, I'm, so that's a that's a good little bit there. Because I, I want my reeds to have a free shot to get to the bag. If there's a little bit of seasoning covering the hole, that's an impediment. That's an air impediment. We, we, we want to maximize our airflow. So we want to be tedious about this step. So I'm going in and I'm trying to drag the outside of the stock. Can't say that enough. Just that little sleight of hand movement. So there's only a little bit there at the end. So that one's pretty clean there. You know, sometimes I might even go back and do each one again. But. So this outside one I know was uh, probably, uh, probably got the, the most seasoning in it. So I'm just going to do a light one first because I know it's probably going to get a lot. Yet yeah, there's quite a bit there. So that's good. I'm getting it out. I want it in the bag. I don't want no seasoning in the stock. Those reeds need to have as clear of a shot as possible to get maximum air. So that one I got a good bit out, so this one I'm just going to shoot all the way in because it goes just past the bottom, I believe, this length. So I'm still sensing a little bit there at the very end, so I'm going to do it again. Something that you can do, uh, especially with your cell phone, works perfectly. You could turn on the flashlight on your cell phone and then just shoot it down the stock to see if there's any leftover uh, bits at the bottom of the stock there. It's perfect. That light works perfectly for just looking at the inside there. So it's looking pretty dry now, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I got the most of it, the brunt of it done there. Um, you don't want to forget about the, the blow stick either. Something that I did before turning this video on is I took my water trap out. So obviously, um, I don't recommend seasoning your bag with your water trap in there. So what I'll do here, I'll just leave that there. Uh, like before, I'll just do one swoop of the stock just to see what's in there. Um, my, my blow piece actually comes out in a couple of different pieces, so I will just double check everything again. Um, sometimes, not all the time, but when I'm seasoning my bag, I, I will take this as an opportunity to change the hemp on my blow stick. Um, I mean, because for me, I'm, I'm, with the water trap, I'm taking this in and out all the time to dump my trap, and this hemp... Your blow stick sees the most action, and this hemp sees the most action. So, I mean, again, you know, this is not a clean procedure here, but over time, this could smell a little bit, you know, because it gets it's getting so much action. Um, sometimes, depending, I'll just take this opportunity um, to rehemp this section. 
just so it's nice and fresh and clean, um, just because it gets a lot of action. So I'm seeing a little bit of stuff on the inside of my little my little bit here. This is my connecting point for my water trap. Just if anybody's wondering. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scrunch it together, just like this, and then I'm just going to get at it a little bit and see what's in there. So there's a little bit of stuff coming out. I think I got most of it. A little bit of a blow. Yep, that's all looking fine. Of course, you always want your, you want, you want, well, maintenance. You always want a good hemping job everywhere. Again, airflow, airflow, airflow. So I will, like the others, roll along here. Just back and forth. And again, um, I don't mind. So I went into the bag because look how long that is. My, my blow stick stock is not that long. I went all the way into the bag. I am not minding that I'm pulling seasoning out of here because it's already very, very seasoned. This little bit is not gonna make any difference whatsoever. So this area of the bag, of course, your blow, your blow stick and your channer, I mean, this is, this is a very critical point here because all that air is gonna be going to the channer. So a light, you know, so you don't want any excess seasoning in this area anyway. Um, I'll touch on that just a little bit more here in a quick second. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll it again and swab, roll and swab, roll and swab. This is just, uh, just want to get it clean. So that's all looking pretty fine there. Um, got my little stack over here of used ones. So if you do get seasoning in your base, which is which which is uh, very common, that's very very long. You can get an extra long paintbrush to get all the way down in there. Um, obviously, this length uh, won't do it, but you can do it long ways here, kind of. So basically, I rolled my paintbrush that goes to about here. So what I'll try and do. What you can do is you, you can fold it back a little bit and then and then get it in there. And then once you're going back and forth, the, the, the bottom end of it kind of expands a little bit. So it's now it's in there a little bit further. Um, so I don't think there's anything down there anyway. So you're basically, when you fold it back like this and you insert it, you're letting go of it. So once you're going back and forth, it's slowly going to let go and then you're kind of able to go a little bit further. There's a lot of ways of doing that. You can get an extra long paintbrush or whatever. Um, so a little uh, um, point to note is that sometimes you might get carried away and let go. I should probably state that real quick. So what you want to do when you're rolling it up You want to hold the paintbrush and the end of the paper towel together so you have that, you know, security on there. I'd probably go a little bit lower than that just so the paper towel is going in first. You want, a, you want a good firm grasp on that. So it's happened to me before. You let go of the paper towel and then the paper towel gets stuck in the, stuck in the stock. And then it's a little bit hard to get out. You know, you can't really fish it out. Um, so if, if that happens, okay. Um, if that happens, tweezers, use tweezers to grab as much of the paper towel as you can to then bring it out. All right. So if, if the paper towel gets stuck and you don't have a zipper on your bag, tweezers, 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 most definitely. And I think I pretty much hit on everything there. So your, your, your bag is pretty much done at this point. So I, 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 I do recommend uh, light playing, breaking it in. Why you push that button? Something oh, I'll be there in a second, okay? I'll be right there. I'll be right there. 
So the, the last thing that I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with for this video anyway is once you get everything back together, you might need to do a little bit of hemping because now the insides of your stalks are a little bit slick. Um, so it might be a little bit, your, your hemp will be a little bit more free going in and out. But this is just me. After I'm playing for a little while, um, I'll play for 10 minutes and then I'll check the channer stock because I don't want that seasoning getting to the channer reed. So it's just, it's just something, it's just a security measure. I'll play for 10 minutes. I'll put my finger in there and just feel a little bit because if it gets wet, that means the seasoning is coming down. So you just want to do some extra wiping. You can maybe do that for like a week or so. Um, play for 10 minutes and then check. All right. Thank you so much.